Good morning, everyone. Come on in, grab your coffee. Look, we're sitting in Fred's studio. I don't know if you've had a chance to come down and see our new displays, but we're open, we're back. We're ready to invite all of you in to enjoy what we have to offer, which is a lot. And I want to tell you about some of it and leave some of it as a surprise. I know last year we talked about how sad it was that the children weren't racing through the door, but guess what? We finally overcame that. Our summer camps were full of children, every one of them laughing, bouncing through the door with their little masks on and going to work in their art classes. In October, we started our regular weekly classes back and they're filling up every week, every day. They're getting more and more students to come in and enjoy. This would have made Fred so happy. I think about how he would have reacted to the last two years and I know he would have just put it behind him and gone forward. So that's what we're going to do. But we can't do it without you and you are all a part of us taking Fred's legacy and taking it to his wildest dreams. We're working hard and diligently with all of our volunteers and our board of directors on new programs, new ideas, and everything that involves the children. You're going to enjoy two speakers today and I hope you take the time to listen to them because they are far more entertaining than I am. One is Vivian McMeekin, the other is Lars Krauss Lucas, and they are both past students, both college students, and both very accomplished young women. So you'll be delighted to hear what they have to say and their thoughts about art, the importance of art in a child's education, and their own personal story. So make sure you push on their buttons. Speaking of pushing buttons, of course, I'm the one that has to say to you, without all of you and your generous donations, we wouldn't even be in existence. Our art program is in need of you, whether it's a dollar that you can donate today or thousands of dollars, we'll gladly take it all, only because it's all going for the kids, it's going for their art supplies, it's going for tables and chairs and tablecloths and all of the equipment we needed just to keep this building sterilized and, and safe for the kids. We're working on all kinds of events, but the most exciting one, well, there's a couple. We've got a student art show in May, and of course, Spring Fair will come in April. But come June, guess what? We will be celebrating 20 years of the Fred Ophiel Western Heritage Center. Who would have ever guessed we'd be here 20 years and still going strong? Fred would have been 104 years old today, but when I think back on 20 years, can you imagine he was 84 years old when we started this center? 84, and in 15 years, he worked with over a thousand children. We now have had over 2,000 kids that have come through our doors, and that's all thanks to you. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to tell you I hope that you enjoy our videos today, but don't forget the most exciting part of our weekend, and that's our auction. So click on the auction button. It'll take you directly to the auction site. And if you can, please click on the donation site. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Come on down. Bye-bye.